Savadi. My name is Dr. Andrea Hefner. I'm the course lead of the Inclusive Leadership Australia Awards short course. The course is funded by the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and we're working with the Laos Australia Institute and our local partner, the Gender Development Association in Laos. The course focuses on inclusive leadership and the really emphasis of the course is to recognize that leadership is important and it's important to focus on everyone, particularly women in leadership, people with disability, as well as ethnic group and other group that are marginalized. The team of this program was very diverse and included a lot of different colleagues of mine from the Griffiths Business School, including colleagues from the Department of Business Strategy and Innovation, the co-lead of the program, Dr. Dara Shah, as well as many other colleagues who were doing sessions as part of the course, but also being mentor for all our participants. We also had external industry partners, as well as colleagues from other universities and, for example, the Workplace Gender Equality Agency in Australia. Along some, also really important, our local experts and partners who can talk about the local context of inclusiveness. The Inclusive Leadership course was run over a 10-week period that included a first intensive workshop in early January to kick off everyone in Vientiane. It was followed up by five different modules and then we also had uh, various networking functions both in Vientiane in Laos but also online just for participants to engage with the diversity of industry partners and experts in the field of inclusive leadership. The program also has a final intensive workshop so overall it has really a mix of live online lectures, live in-person lectures, field visits, as well as having industry partners speak as well. A few highlights of the course for me were some of the field visits we had, um, particularly the field visit where we visited the Lao Disabled Women Center in Vientiane, where people learned about uh, the challenges and opportunities of women with a disability and the opportunities they can have in companies, but also in communities and were providing for their whole families. I think uh, another key highlight of mine were some of the interview panel sessions we had with leaders from the LGBTIQ plus community in Laos, but also people from industry talking about their approach to inclusive leadership. So just hearing from diverse people with all different backgrounds, sharing their experience, lesson learned and how they achieve to where they are today. I think having role models in this course was really central for our participants to see what's possible and how they can be a role model for everyone else as well in the future. Participants in this course were very diverse. Uh, we had a large majority of people from the Lao government, including both from ministries, but also the education sector. And also great to see the diversity from people in Vientiane, but also people from Luang Prabang, Northern Laos, as well as people from the South in uh, Champasak as well. And besides uh, people from the government, we had a few representatives from the private sector, as well as non-for-profit organization and the UN agencies. And I think bringing these cohorts together is really important because they can learn about the approaches, policies and guidelines used across the different sectors. This program will help me to improve my self-awareness and boost up my confidence. I will know how to address the issues and find the solution how to solve them. Uh, by participating in this program, I have changed my perspective uh, a lot. For example, uh, in terms of uh, decision making, I think I would consider more about gender balance, about diversity to make my decision more inclusive so that uh, it's allowed me to be uh, more inclusive dealer and also make more impact to the people not only uh, around, around me but also around my community. The highlight of this program is that I have impressions on the presentation on the gender equality in work pick which is related to uh, my project about um, female journalist development in Laos. Uh, this um, presentation has introduced me to know about the diagnosis tool, approaches and strategy to improve gender equality in workplace. The most I enjoy about this course is to unlock myself from unclear about social inclusions. I have learned many things from teachers and friends 
including how to be a good leaders and how to apply my leadership by using the knowledge that I have learned from this course. After training, I found that inclusive leadership can help staff or employees feel that they are more a part of the team or organization. Attending this inclusive training program helped me more understand about diversity and inclusiveness. I really would like to thank all the participants for their engagement, contribution and collaboration as part of the course. I also would like to thank all my Griffith University colleagues who were supportive in the program, both professional and academic staff, as well as all our industry partners and particularly our local partner, the Gender Development Association. So thank you very much to everyone. Kopchai Lalai.